Hello everyone. Today we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I still haven't seen the two shows here, the Festival of the Lion King or the uh, Finding Nemo show. So today I thought we'd come and do those and uh, maybe ride a couple rides, take a safari, and just kind of hang out in Animal Kingdom today. So come along, let's go. We are here a little bit early, so I want to go ahead and take the opportunity to get on the safari. The wait time is only about 10 minutes right now. So we're going to go over there and do that, see if we can catch some animals, maybe having some breakfast, and uh, go from there. That was a really great safari tour on the Kilimanjaro safaris and we've got about 10 or 15 minutes now until the Festival of Lion King show starts so that's pretty good timing. Let's walk over there and go uh, check out that show.
Festival of the Lion King show was really, really awesome and uh, definitely glad I checked that one out and it was good to see the Tumble Monkeys come back. They were really energetic and really cool. Uh, so now we've got about 30 minutes until the Nemo uh, show starts, so I think we're just going to go straight over there and uh, go go check that show out too. Only a 15 minute wait for Expedition Everest. Just shows you that the crowds are not bad today at all. But my goodness, is it humid out today. It's almost noon right now, and here are some of the wait times. Flight of Passage, 50 minutes. Navi River Journey, 60 minutes. But look at this, the safari, only 20 minutes for the safari. Expedition Everest, 10 minutes. Yeah, not bad at all today. came a long way, and they deserve a good story. So we're gonna do this the way we do everything. Together. Nemo! Dad, Dad, it's time for school! <laughs> All right, we're excited. It's your first day of school, Nemo. We're ready to learn, to get some knowledge.
are? That show was so, so awesome. All of the puppets and the actors, so great. And the songs are fantastic. It's a story that you know and love, but to see it up on the big stage like that, performed live, is really, really entertaining and a lot of fun. So now I think what we need to do is go get some lunch. <laughs> Lunch. I came over to the Flame Tree Barbecue and just grabbed a barbecue pork sandwich. It's just barbecue pork on a brioche bun with coleslaw on it. And then I got them to add a little bit extra barbecue sauce on the top there. So let's get into this barbecue pork sandwich. It's good. There is a lot of pork on this sandwich, which I really, really like. That barbecue top sauce is sweet and tangy. And um, the coleslaw really adds a nice element to it also. I'm always a huge fan of coleslaw on barbecue sandwiches. I know it's kind of divisive. Some people don't care for it, but I really enjoy it. So I'm glad to see that there's plenty of coleslaw on this uh, pork sandwich here. They also offer several different options for your sides. You can get french fries, onion rings, or baked beans. I chose to go with the baked beans. So we'll give these a try too. It almost looks like a chili. It's like there's uh, actual barbecue in there. Oh, those are really good. I could just eat those as a meal by itself, especially with all that meat in there. Really sweet and uh, vinegary too, which is I really, really like. And then for dessert, I got the Bug and Grubs Cupcake. It's a chocolate cake with cookies and cream, cheesecake filling, chocolate buttercream, matcha cake crumbs, gummy worms, and a white chocolate ladybug. And look at this. How cute is this thing? That's awesome. I love it. The little bugs there on the top. I might fork and knife this. It seems a little bit uh, a little bit much to try to eat with without a fork. And it's got like that double layer cake there where they put the buttercream in the middle. So I'm definitely gonna use a fork on this one. Let's cut into this and see what we got here. Okay there's all that there's all that filling. Get in there with all that buttercream and that cake and those matcha cake crumbs, which is kind of interesting. That is really, really good. That cake is super soft and moist, and then that buttercream in the middle, very decadent. This is an excellent cupcake. I'm really, really into this. And then the, you know, the little ladybug and the worm on top kind of give it a little uh, something special, right? Because you're at the animal kingdom, you got to eat like Simba and uh, 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 Timon and Pumbaa slimy yet satisfying. This is our view for lunch. Beautiful, just sitting out here over the lagoon with a shot of Everest there in the back. Not a bad spot. We're even getting a little bonus uh, kite tails show here at our lunch. The seating over here at Flame Tree Barbecue is really awesome also. It's kind of set back so it's quiet and peaceful and it's almost like a, like a temple garden or something like that and uh, really, really cool. And if you need a place to just come sit, there's tons of seating and I really, really love it back here. Kevin's out.
lunch from Flame Tree Barbecue was so delicious and I'm so full, but I can't leave here without going on Expedition Everest. Uh, and the wait times have been really low. Plus they've got a single rider line, so you kind of have to do it. Is it gonna be a great idea? I guess we'll find out. Okay, note to future self, riding Everest right after Flame Tree Barbecue, probably not the best idea, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, so now we gotta find something a little bit more relaxing to do though. Over at the Disney Trading Company, they have a couple of more like vintage style t-shirts that I haven't seen quite yet. That one's pretty cool, I like that one. And then they have this style also, which I really like. I found some new ears. I don't know what they are, they're Marvel. And on the back they say, higher, further, faster. Let me know in the comments if you know what these are. They got like a little yellow mohawk. I feel like I should know what it is, but I don't. There's also some more Halloween stuff that I haven't seen, or Halloween themed, I guess. So, got this quirksicle cup that says just one bite and it's got the queen holding up the apple there that's really pretty and then they've got this tumbler with Hades on it that says so hot and so cool and then here's a haunted mansion bag that's a little bit bigger than like the lounge flies it says kiss the bride on it it's got the killer bride on there with a flip top I'm just kind of plain on the inside and it's got a little magnetic clasp on it. I also spotted this hanging lantern. It's got skeletons on it, like dancing skeletons. If we can get it to turn on, I doubt it. Oh, we can. It does turn on. Awesome. That's really, really cool. I really like that. Oh, and these uh, tie-dye kind of pumpkin Mickey ears or mini ears, I guess. It's got the bow on there. And then there's also these style ears, which is kind of their Halloween print for this year with the little ghost on there. Those are cute too. And then over at the Island Mercantile, they have some new vault collection stuff that I haven't seen yet. So they've got this blue and yellow spirit jersey that says Walt Disney World on it, and then a bunch of accompanying stuff. So we've got like a fanny pack and a wrist wallet here to go with it, or just like a little coin purse is kind of neat and a hat 
kind of digging the retro vibe of that with the castle on there and then of course no collection would be complete without some matching crocs there's also a matching mug which is really really nice and again it's got the slide top which i really like but that is going to do it for us here today from disney's animal kingdom we had such a great day got to see the two shows here did a little shopping had a great lunch at flame tree barbecue rode everest which is always fun but maybe next time i'll do that before lunch let me know in the comments have you seen those shows what's your favorite part of those two shows i loved them both but uh let me know what your favorite part was and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you on the next one bye Cool of a century, he prepared for the murkiest hell.